Hey, good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? My name is Michael. And I'm Dion. And welcome to Misfits Adventures. We are at Craigie Wash still, but we're leaving today. It's a little bit windy starting out, but not too bad. It's 10 to 15 miles an hour, something like that. Uh, we are going to leave here today only because of a couple reasons. Yeah. One, our potty's full. We got to go. <laughs> Two, we stink. <laughs> My shirt's dirty. Our clothes are dirty. We got to wash. So what we're doing is uh, we're going to drive over and back into Parker and around to the other side, back into California. And we're going to go to where she used to work called Big Ben. And uh, we've got a spot over there for tonight and maybe tomorrow night uh, just to charge up, uh, get unload. some videos out, unload uh, some junk, some crap, <laughs> as you say. But anyways, yeah, we get our sewage out and fill up with water again. And then we're going to come back out here or someplace else. Just to let you know, give you an update. We'll give it that update in just a bit. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. So we're going to uh, drive over and uh, take us about 40 minutes. Yeah. Just around, just around the lake and uh, around to the river. And yeah. So we, we, we will be there in about an hour. About an hour. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So here we go. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. And uh, we've been here. Uh, it took us an hour and a half to get here, which should have only taken us an hour. Uh, but yeah, we are at Big Ben. And uh, we pulled in here, we got a spot. It's only gonna be for one night. We were gonna try to get two. They said they don't have any more nights because everything's booked. So that's okay with us, because really and truly we don't have the money to spend. So uh, we did everything we had to do very fast. So we had we didn't even show you guys what we did. So yeah, so we came in here. We had a full tank of sewer and we had a half a tank of uh, gray water. And we got all that out. And then somehow we had a blockage. And then the hose came up and it kind of got all over the pedestal. And we're yelling at each other. And what else? So anyways, we got we got it all cleaned up. We bleached it all out and we figured everything all out and got everything all level. Um, yeah, we just had too much hose. When you got too long a hose it, and then it starts going around and you know it just doesn't go right to the point and go into the drain. So it made a mess. Made a mess. <laughs> so we bleached it out, washed it all down and took the toilet paper with my hands with gloves on and threw it in the trash can which we got to get out of the truck and throw in the bag someplace. And then, uh, yeah, so we're here, finally. Yep. Um, yeah, I washed the dog, we washed us, she washed laundry just now, <laughs> and now we're just going to go take a walk. I think the first thing we did was have a hamburger, and I don't remember them being as, not as good, really, as, as when she made them, so, yeah. I don't know. Just different meat and different stuff. But it's okay, Big Bend is, uh, we're going to go down to the... Uh, beach over here and we're gonna walk around I'll show you the cafe again we've already been here uh, we flew the drone here mm -hmm. uh, when I came to visit her one day and I went inside and showed everybody the uh, little restaurant that they have the grill yeah. so anyways we're just gonna go take a walk it's about oh, almost six o'clock California time and I'm not sure really what time it is because it was <laughs> supposed to be daylight savings time this last weekend this weekend this Saturday going into Sunday now it's Monday but it's the same time as it was I don't know. Her phone's didn't update. Nobody updated. updated. Nothing updated and it's still, it, I don't know what time it is. I really don't, I don't really care. Nope. We don't have to go to work, so no. it's okay. All right guys, so we're going to take a walk down to the beach and uh, show you the area. It's going to maybe be a pretty sunset, we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right. All right guys, so show you where we're at here. Oh, we got some guys hiking up over there. I don't know what's over there sun's this way. Colorado River's there. This is called Big Bend because it goes around this mountain and goes that way. Echo Lodge is down around the corner. Yep. Yeah, so ready Max? Got your bath and everything's good. I got a little butt going. He's happy actually. Look at him. Yeah. yeah.
Got the restrooms right here. There's the entrance up over here. And this is the canyon that you actually come down. Oh, it's really pretty over there. Check that out over there. Mountains. This is pretty much a well-established park. It's been here for a long time. All right, guys, so this is, uh, this is the entrance. That's where you check in. There's a game room over there, a little arcade, uh, gift shops, that sort of stuff, right? Yep. You used to work here? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I wish we would have both worked here. <laughs> that would have been better. Because we wouldn't have to go all the way down, around and through the canyon and all that. So the restaurant's down there. The laundry's straight ahead. Um, the beach is also over here. Isn't that pretty? So right across the Colorado River is another park, that's Arizona side. <sighs> nice and shady here. They sandwich everybody in here, you can see. Lots of people here. And then they have the rentals up there that you can rent. Hey, number 25, your food is ready. So yeah, in the summertime, they just come whipping around the corner here really fast in those little jet boats. Pretty pretty. Trees are getting bigger. They were small two years ago. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, and they got more of the deck done. That's awesome. Well, let's sit down for a second. Check this view out. All right, guys. So we're going to tell you what we're doing right now. And uh, first of all, we're going to be here just for one night, like we said. We already got done the stuff that we need to get done, right? Yeah. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to Craigie Wash. Or, since we do have jobs and we have to be up there by a certain time, I'm thinking that we just start going up that way. And we could see the sights and, and boomdock all the way up. Because mm -hmm. we really haven't done that too much. Nope. So maybe maybe once or twice, maybe once, have a bath in between, like mm -hmm. we just did. Because it's very nice to have a bath. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, when we leave here, we're not going to go through California. Even though it's on the Oregon coast, that would be the right thing to do, is go back into California and go up the uh, five. That way I could have gone and seen my sister. I uh, could have uh, stayed on her property a night or whatever and you know spent some time with her, quality time with her and her husband. And... Uh, but that's not going to happen because of gas prices. Totally. So I can't afford six and seven dollars a gallon for gas. So uh, I think I, what we're going to end up doing is just staying in Arizona, going all the way up to Arizona, up into uh, Nevada, and then take Nevada all the way up to pretty much to the top of Nevada, and then go right over to uh, California, and then into um, Pendleton, I think, Oregon, mm -hmm. and then we'll go across the state uh, bottom of Oregon. Uh, to hit where we've got to go. So the job that we have is uh, at an RV park. Um, I don't have any internet right now here at this park even uh, to send her a yeah confirmation that yeah we're going to take the job. So I wrote her today and I just said hey yeah we're going to go ahead and take the job. We'll see you up there and I'll do this confirmation as soon as we have some good internet. So we plan on getting up there by the first like I said um, but if we leave now, it's now the 14th today. Yes. So that'll give us two weeks to get up there. Yep. 
and that's a lot of nights to have to hang out and stuff. So, but it'd be all right. It'd be all right. Yeah, I think we can go about 200 miles a day. Yeah. And find some boom docking places and just boom dock. Come here, Maxers. He I wants to be in too. Water. He just had a bath. You're not getting in no water. There's no fishies for you, Mr. Man. Yeah, Mr. Max, where is he? Where is he? There he is. Look at that little boat. Little inner tube boat with a motor. Max, what are you, what are you doing? Max, Max, what's going on? Look at me. Look at the camera. There's hey, Max, they want to talk to you. New stuff to check out, Dad. I know. So that's our plans. We will um, be up there by the first. And then I got some news today. I got the uh, doctor's office up in Warrington <laughs> Seaside oh. called me and said, hey, uh, you know, your annual checkup's due in the, like right now. And I told her what was going on and she was real nice. She said, well, you got to come up and see us. I said, yeah, I know. So what we're going to do is we don't really have to start work until the 7th. They say we can get on the property uh, the first. first yeah. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to drop off our stuff and we're going to take off and uh, we're going to go up to Warrington and um, see if we got any mail up there then by then because <laughs> it'll be after the first yeah right and they're going to hold our mail for us so okay so that's a good plan we just talked, got a plan going while you were here yeah so that's what we're going to do we'll go up there and spend the night um in a hotel or something i don't know how else to do it i'm not yeah. going to take the camper and then um yeah we'll do the doctor thing and come back and then we'll start working yep so that's going to be the plan, I guess, and tentatively, everything's tentative. We don't know what's really going on. It's a day by day. It's a day by day. So, check this out. These are so pretty. Another boat went by. All sorts of donkeys here, too. We saw a couple on the road. Not as many as when we were here. There was like donkeys everywhere. I think we did they must have done a round of again. Really got them all, huh? Yeah. You should think. So that's the bar over there and restaurant and arcade. They have an arcade over here too. So uh, we're going to go inside and uh, go check it out, right? You can't go on the deck? He can, no. No dogs. No dogs. No oh, crappy. So we have a picnic table down at the end. Okay, and you're going to go inside and get us drinks, or I'll go inside and get us drinks? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's cool. I kind of wanted to be on the water, but a kiss king. I'm not leaving my dog. We don't have to go in and get drinks. We don't. We have drinks at home. You know what we could do? We could walk home and make uh, some margaritas. We have no ice. Right there. Ice right there. We still have a half a bottle of... Uh, tequila <laughs> and we still have a lot of triple sec left and we bought some limes before we got here so yeah. we have like 20 limes so that will make some good uh, margaritas mm -hmm. well that's what I think we're gonna do we're gonna relax in the air conditioning and uh, hang out you're getting old looking I know he's such a good boy I see the white hairs in his hair today I didn't see him for all week because it was so dirty. dirty. <laughs> when I gave him a bath, he was black. I mean, literally, the, the sink was black. Look at the boats, Max. I think that's buckskin. That's what we said before. Yeah, that's so pretty. All these places were full, except for this place. I told her, let's go call this place. Kind of a mistake because it ate up a whole bunch of gas to get here. From Havasu to Parker and then on the back side, we're on the opposite side. 20 miles. 20 miles from Parker. And then it was uh, from Parker to Havasu. That's another 20. So I think it was like 40, you know, it was about 43 miles by the time you get back here. So. Well, that's not good. Their boat is being thrashed over there by waves that those boats are making. See, those are the barges that are 
party barges, they call them. Yeah. yeah, so you get these little flat bottom pontoon boat thingies, and it seats about 20 people in it or 10 people in it, depending on the size, and it's got an awning. So we went ahead and got the ice and everything. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> yeah, so we got the ice, and we're going to head back, and we're going to make some margaritas. I think that would be the best thing to do. These over here are owned. People bought them and live here or rent them out or whatever they want to do with them, I'm sure. But it's a really pretty place. And that sun is so bright. So we made it back to the uh, camper and we got bag in hand. I uh, wanted to show you real quick, now that the sun went down. It's not a bad park. We are kind of close together. Uh, we got all our stuff here. We're gonna cover it all tomorrow. Well, actually we're not, because we're just gonna drive back to Craigie Wash and stay there for another day or so, I think. So, yeah, we got all this stuff out. And I think that's smashed because it's on top of it. Hey, baby. I know, I saw that. Can you get that up and let's fix it? Put down the ice. Why did you do that? See what she did? She squished her box. Our box is under there squished. And I don't know what's in it. Hopefully nothing very important. There really wasn't anything that was important to it and nothing got broke, so it was okay. She didn't know it was underneath there. I'll tell you, we were so hungry. We didn't eat this morning. We left, we were cranky. We were yelling at each other, trying to get all this stuff done. <laughs> It was awful, huh, honey? Yep. But we're better now. But we're better now. <laughs> <laughs> showers, food. Yep. Shower, showers, food, air conditioning. Uh, it's really nice and cool now. Like I have the air conditioner set at 70, but heck. Um, my hair's a mess, but it's nice and clean. <laughs> hers, is, hers is so pretty. And it's also up in a bun. I can't do that with mine yet. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go inside. We're going to make some margaritas. And uh, we're going to have some personal time. And then uh, we will see you probably in the a.m. when we leave here and as we get to Craigie Wash. I don't know if we're going to park in the same spot or in a different spot or we'll see when we get there. But uh, the only thing about this park, they have no internet. And we can't even get cell phone service right now. So, oh gosh, we can't find any place which we could camp out when we leave to go up in Nevada and camp out, camp out, camp out, camp out, you know, till we get up to where we got to be. Yep. So that's what we got to find out, but we got to have internet, right? Yep, we will work on that tomorrow. Max, you gonna say goodbye to everybody? Bye, Max. Say goodbye, everybody. On, let's go inside. Say, say goodbye, everybody. Mom's got me on the leash. I don't like it. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you in the morning. Say good night, honey. Good night, honey. No, say good night to them. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, everybody. We'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, we just got up from a nice, peaceful sleep. We had air conditioning last night. It's temperatures are here a little bit warmer than they were over at Craigie Wash. Not by much, um, but it was a little bit warmer here. So we had showers. Yes. We got to do our laundry. Yes. We cleaned up the camper. Yes. We cleaned out all the poopy and the sludgy and all yeah. the messes on both tanks yeah yes. got that all done and then after we got that all done uh we filled it back up again <laughs> no we rinsed everything out got everything clean uh so the gray water and the black water tanks are really good we got a dump truck coming but anyways uh we're ready to go back to craigie wash we're going to make a stop at a walmart uh get some food some beer some miscellaneous things that we need and then we're going to head back to Craigie Wash. So the next time you see us, we'll be over back at Craigie Wash someplace. <laughs> All right, guys. See you there. See you there. All right, guys. So we just purchased some fuel. Uh, distance to empty says now. It used to be 350. Now it's all the way down to 272. Um, and that is how many miles I got on a full tank. Or that's how much I'm going to get. So that is kind of screwed up. So we're like 40 miles different. All right, Walmart Havasu now. So we're going to Walmart Havasu now. 10-4, give me a minute. 
Anyway, so we are going there and uh, we're gonna get some food. Uh, we're gonna get some beer, we're gonna get some wine for her. And uh, we're gonna get the necessities for out there and paper plates since we didn't get them the last time and we had to wash dishes and that sucks because we have no water. So yeah, we're gonna do all that right now and then we're gonna go out to Craigie Wash. And next time you see us, we'll be at Craigie Wash. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we've been, we came back to Craigie Wash windy as crap for the last two days. Uh, we stayed here two more days. Um, we are now leaving. We're going to go to Needles and we're going to stay at a campground in Needles after uh, being here. Dump our tanks like we did. Excuse me. And uh, get some electricity and charge everything. Maybe get this video out. And then, uh, I don't know, take showers. <laughs> the thing is, if we're traveling, and we're going to be boom docking. We have to take everything out of the back of the truck just to get to the generator. That's a lot of work. It took us an hour and a half. So we started doing this at uh, 8.30 and it's like 10, 10, 15, 10, 30 now. So the problem with that is it just takes us too long. That's, that's travel time, you know? So we need to leave everything in. I think we need to get there as fast as possible to start making some money. So I think we're just going to try to jet up there. Um, so our first stop is going to be Needles, California, and when we get there, uh, we're going to regroup. We're going to Vegas. We might stay there a night or two. Boom dock, I'm not sure. And then from there, we're going to shoot up to Reno, and Reno, we're going to jet across uh, California at the northern end and try to get into Oregon as fast as possible, where gas prices are five dollars and thirty cents, did we say, or was it less? Four fifty-five. Four fifty-five in Oregon and in Nevada. California was 550 like a dollar more yeah so the plan is to stay out of California as much as possible but we're not going to go a ridiculously way out of our way to spend more money in gas than just straight through and, and spend you know take the one tank full of that's going to cost me hundred and thirty dollars to fill up so we might as well do that at least yeah. once or twice and get there and once we get there we can start working so all right guys we're leaving here this has been a fun place uh, this is Craigie Wash. We got the camp camper all ready to go. Got all our junk in the back, got our trash. Take all your trash out. They got to be only here for 14 days. We were here, uh, we were here actually seven days and left and then came back again. So, uh, yep, this guy wants to get in here. So this is our camper and we're leaving. Another guy was just coming in. He's a full timer. He's gonna go park right back up in there where Aja and uh, Destination Open Road was and everybody else. So yeah, they were all up there. Ooh, that's a little gully wash there. All right, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, so I'm ready to go. We're gonna get in the truck. She's gonna get in her car and we're gonna head out. Next stop is going to be the gas station to fill this up in Arizona, and then we will, I just need a half a tank, and then we will head off into the sunset. <laughs> We're gonna head off to Needles, which is like an hour and a half drive. So uh, gonna charge everything back up again, get some propane when we get there, like I said, and uh, rest. So you'll see us next stop in Needles at a campground.
Hey everybody, good afternoon. We finally made it over here. Didn't take us that long, it's about an hour and 10 minutes actually. Uh, we got in here, we got everything done, we flushed everything out, and uh, we took showers. I feel refreshed, she feels refreshed. Now we're just gonna go walk around the park just for a couple seconds to show you guys what this park is all about. And what's the name of it? Desert View. Desert View. And it was $50 a night, right next door is a KOA, and they wanted $80 a night. So this is a nice pull through, it's got a nice, uh, cement pad here so that's good a lot of places don't have it if we were to unhook we would pull up so we get up we would walk out on this instead of walking out on the concrete but since we have our truckster and it's all loaded then uh, yeah we have to do what we have to do so this over here is the pool I believe we might go swimming and uh, and the other side over there um, is laundry so she said that if you go down this road and then go all the way down to the other side, that's where the Colorado River is. We're not going to do that. We know where that is and we've been on it and it's okay. Uh, let's see. We're going to go up to the office because we have to uh, check in. We, well, we already checked in with her. Dion wants to get the uh, Wi-Fi code and we also want to uh, get some quarters for laundry, even though we did laundry the other day. Really nice park, mm -hmm. real clean. I could see staying here for six months. It's got a little bit of shade, wind protection. How's Mike's like? Do you like it, Max? Max, you smelling all new smells? So 95 is right out there, that's the highway, you see the trucks, that's highway 95, we'll just jump back on it, heading north to Vegas tomorrow. Very well kept up park. All right, so we're gonna go inside. We're gonna get some change and uh, we'll show you the laundry later. So we just got some quarters. We're gonna walk back. I see that there's two cell towers over here and it looks like a 5G and a 4G, but I haven't checked my phone yet to see if we have anything. I don't have a video ready to get out anyway, so. Yeah, so way down there, I think that's where the KOA is. And I think that's where you hit beach access and that's why it's $80 a night. Because I don't think we have beach access here, honestly. You can see the sites are pretty wide. These are all pull throughs. Like 18 to 20 feet. There's Floridas, some Floridians. Yeah, and like I said, 95 is right there. We'll just jump on it tomorrow. If you keep going that way, you'll run into LA, someplace out there. We actually, Needles is in California, so we don't want to be in California, but we did get gas in uh, Arizona, right? Yeah. So with that said, we got gas in Arizona. We're in California. When we go up about another 20 miles, it either takes us still into California or goes into Nevada. So we're going into Nevada to go up to Vegas. So we should be gas prices up there are about the same as they are here. So it's, what, about 450 a yeah. gallon? And uh, that's not bad for us. That's what we were paying when we were down in Desert Hot Springs. So anything more than that is gonna be like freaking us out. Yeah. So, but yeah, here's our, we came down this way and there's her car and uh, like I said, there's the pool and the laundromat over there. And here we are. Got the satellite dish out. Got everything hooked up. The air conditioner's on. 
don't know if you guys noticed we lost our tire spare tire thing but we can always get another one for like 25 bucks once we get to where we're going right so what do you think max max he's max doesn't know what to Max doesn't know what to think because there's too many smells now. And uh, that's just too much for Max to handle. <laughs> all right, guys, so we're gonna go inside and uh, we're going to gather up all the clothes and start doing laundry in a couple seconds. Alrighty, I'll take you with us. So we just went into the laundry mat here and we put in, what, four bucks? Yep. Put in four bucks, we got two loads, uh, some whites and some colors, and we'll have those all done. And, uh, We'll be all clean. Everything's yep. clean now, right? Yep. So this is the little laundromat that they have. It's really nice. And then this is the pool over here. Check it out. I guess we're allowed in the pool. We're guests, huh? Mm -hmm. Is the pool open? Yep. Oh, look. That's a nice little pool. We might go swimming later. What do you think? Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Okay. So, this is a really nice park. So we're gonna go on back to the camper and uh, put the stuff away and kind of relax for just a little bit. All right guys, so we're back and we got our laundry done. Everything's clean. Uh, we're just sitting here relaxing outside. It's about eh, 79 degrees, got a little bit of a breeze, not too bad. Um, so it feels really nice in the shade here. Uh, temperature of the desert's getting hotter, so it was, well, we were boom docking, it was like 91 degrees and we were running our air conditioner and people didn't like us because we had to use our generator. And we weren't that close to anybody, but this one guy came up and knocked on our door twice. You still using your generator? Like, yeah, we will be until about 10 o'clock and we're really sorry, but you can have it on till 10. And it was hot <laughs> and I was doing work, so yeah. So um, now that we're in a park, it's easier, it's better. We've got air conditioning in there. It's nice out here. I think it's what we're used to. Yeah. That was really rough with the boondocking. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's really rough to me. Not to you, maybe. But you, you don't have water. So you, you got to make sure you don't use all your water while you're out there because we can't fill up our tank and go out boondocking because the truck won't pull it with all the weight and everything else. So we got three five gallon containers, filled them up, brought them and poured it into our tank like we showed you. And yeah, so I don't want to have to do that every time. I don't want to have to go, how many hours is this generator going to last? <laughs> and now we have a problem with the generator. We figured it out. Um, all of a sudden, yesterday, it just stopped running. And uh, I didn't know why. So I went outside, looked at it, and I thought, okay, well, maybe it's low on oil. It does that. It has a sensor in it. So I waited till she came home. I took apart the generator, made sure the filter was okay with the air filter, the air cleaner. And I looked at it and I looked at the oil. The oil was perfect, but the oil was dirty. And we had 125 hours on it. And they say that every 100 hours. So we took and uh, dumped out the oil into a pan and then threw the oil away into the trash. Um, and then filled it back up again with 30 weight. And um, tried to start it, but it wouldn't start. So it is a dual. Uh, generator so it does gas and propane so we went ahead and hooked up our propane tank to it started right up no problem I kind of thought it, it was probably had to do with the gas we, we put a whole new tip so we have a full tank of gas in there right now and really what it is is we got down to the bottom of the tank and we probably had some gas in there before and it probably turned into some mucky stuff. And then when we poured gasoline back in it to start it again recently, mm -hmm. it was on top. So every time we filled it, it kept on going up the top, but we were let it run all the way down to almost to where it was. So it sucked it in and stopped, the, took, uh, clogged up the jets in the carburetor. That's what I think happened. So uh, we, when we called Champion, they were super nice. The guy's out of California, kid, and he goes, hey, he goes, um, this is what you can do, this is what you should do. And he goes, if you want to take it to somebody right now in California, they're charging $185 an hour just to look at them. So that ain't going to happen with us. We'll, we'll fix it ourselves or we'll figure it out. Um, there's a float. There's a, there's a float inside and inside the float, there's a chamber with it, all the gasoline ends up in. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that screw out and let drain all that stuff out. And I'm going to turn off the fuel going to the carburetor and then uh, drain all that stuff out of the carburetor and then we'll tighten it back up again and fix it and then we'll go ahead and let the fuel go to the carburetor and see if that works. If that doesn't work, he said the only way to do it is take it apart and actually uh, use some carburetor cleaner and clean all the uh, the jets in it and everything and he goes power is your friend with the uh, with the cleaner so yeah. he said use a lot of cleaner on it and then it should come clean. I live and learn we we actually put stable in it he mm -hmm. said don't do that's the problem stable does not actually work with unleaded gasolines and gasolines that have the additives which is alcohol yeah it's ethanol based so that makes sense kind of like and so that's probably what we did and it's probably screwed up and i even put more in it just before we started it i know so that's not good either we got to get a pump we'll pump it all out get all the uh gasoline out of the tank We'll fix it then. Uh, I don't know when we're going to end up fixing it, but we'll do that in another couple weeks probably. <laughs> we figure that we can just use the um, propane, propane tank, yeah, and the propane will last us 10 hours for a tank. Um, so that's that's all we needed anyways. And the upside of the reason the propane is cheaper than gas right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> propane, propane is like $4 a gallon or three something a gallon, whereas gasoline obviously is four fifty, five fifty, seven to eight dollars in California. So yeah, we're not going to use any more gasoline anyway, so we're safe there. So with all that said, we're going to go in and relax and enjoy the rest of the evening. Uh, go to bed early tonight, get up early, we're going to go fill up one propane tank at the campground next to us, uh, which is a KOA, and we'll get that all done, and then we'll be on the road and we'll be in Vegas in probably four hours. It says two, but... <laughs> we can only go 55. Yeah, I'm only going 50 miles an hour. It's, I'm not going any faster than that. And the reason being is gas is too expensive. Uh, second reason is it's just it's just perfect speed for this camper and for that truck. It just cruises right along and it's fine. If I go 55, it wants to go in a gear and out of a gear and in a gear and out of a gear. And I don't like that. And on the way to Havasu, no, on the way to um, Parker, to Big Bend, some cop, I had like 10 cars behind me, but there was no place to turn off. So what was I supposed to do? And I'm doing 55 miles an hour, it was 65. So he actually passed like eight cars and didn't have his lights on or anything, wasn't going to stop us, but he yelled out over his microphone, the speed limit's 65. Well, yeah, but I can't go 65, so just chill, you know? It's, it's a safety issue I think, because our tires are yeah. rated for 60. Yeah, 55. 55. Yeah, so it's a safety issue, so I'm sorry, but he was, he was being a little rude, and then she was in front of me, so he got up to her and told her the same thing. 65, it's not, you know, but hey, dude, you know, we're just trying to be safe, so. I think he was late for his donuts. <laughs> he was late you for think? his donuts. I think, I think he had donuts and coffee waiting in town, and he had to hurry up. I don't know. All right, guys, uh, I think we're going to close out today. Uh, we've had a good day getting here finally and uh, getting everything broke down and cleaned up. We're ready to go in the morning now, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. So check us out next Sunday at 6 o'clock in the morning for more Misfits Adventures. And uh, right now you can see us on Facebook or Instagram. You can always uh, write us at msfitzsadventures at gmail.com or you can see us on our website, which is misfitsadventures.com and right on it we have a link to YouTube so you can see all our videos, you can see her blog, you can see all our photos, everything's on there. So check that out, it's misfitsadventures.com and uh, we're on that also. All right, guys, so uh, you guys have a great day. We thank you for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. And if, hey, if you've been watching us all this time, hey, do me a favor and check and see if you have subscribed because I've noticed a few people that do watch us every week haven't subscribed, or they did and they, they somehow clicked the button again. So go back and check and see if you've all subscribed. We need every subscriber to get paid sooner or, sooner or later and right now we're climbing we were at uh, 227 right now which is more than we had before we started that's 15 um, since we since we've been traveling so that's a really good thing in the last two months right yeah. so all right guys thank you very much for watching be safe have fun and uh we'll see you next week bye guys bye everybody